when you are painting a portrait of a person, it's important that you represent the person well. You also have to show the person's emotions and expressions. The image must look powerful enough to motivate somebody to feel confidence in themselves. That's why I like them to be like staring at you in a way that you would just stop everything you do and just look straight to them. My name is um, Otis Kwamichi Kweku. I paint and I draw, so in general I'm an artist. <laughs> my painting usually start with photo sessions. Most of the, my models I find are mostly in restaurant people that I meet when I walk around. This one. Let's go. I give them clothes to wear sometimes because it, that's my way of um, adding my idea to it. And then kind of like look away. Yeah. Okay. The most important thing is me capturing their expression, their emotion, their character. I'm working on the cowboy series. Because I grew up in Ghana, watching a lot of Western movies, a lot of action movies, and a lot of cowboy movies. I take a long time when I'm sketching, yeah. Because I that's where I decide what to add, what to take out. There are multiple ideas in my head. And then when you apply it and you come back and look at it and you think it doesn't work, you move on to the next idea. It always changes at the end of it all. Then I start painting. When I'm painting the skin tones, I work in different shades of blacks and whites. Just adding the greens, adding the reds. Even though I'm black, I'm not just black. There are a lot of reflections from outside that falls on the skin. One of the things I really feel in looking at Otis's painting is he really honors the subjects. Oftentimes they're friends or people that he's kind of fascinated with. And he really portrays his portraits in a very humane way. The textures of the clothing and then the dimensions of the figures themselves. It always goes back to the old masters. Because we see the paintings and all these people are very powerful people. There were a lot of black people that were also powerful. But I never see paintings of them. So for me as an artist and somebody who is in this era, I, I feel it's a way of correcting that. It was just my way of sort of rewriting history. We also tell our own stories in, in how we want it to be seen. Color is important. It just shouldn't be something that is just a beautiful color that is there. It should go with the character of the person, I would say. So when you see the painting, everything just flows through. You see the pose of the person and you see the color. It's like, it just flows well. I grew up in um, Accra, Ghana, West Africa. I'm the fourth born of six children. When I started going to the movie theaters and watching movies, all the movie posters were hand-painted, which struck me I'm very, very amazing. So I suddenly felt like I wanted to do this, I wanted to paint. When I was in my early 20s, I started Ganata College of Art and Design, where I schooled for four years. 
I moved to Poland three years ago. I tried to put in a little bit of how we dress back home. It can be clothes, it can be the room settings. Because I always like to tell the story from the African side and then the African American side, put them together and tell that story. Last year, I got a show at the Robert Project at um, Los Angeles. The name of my show was uh, Black Like Me. That show was one of the best shows that I've really done in my life. There were a lot of um, famous people that I never thought I would see <laughs> talking to me how they appreciate my work and they're looking forward to more stuff that I'll be doing in the future. The show got a lot of attention. Sometimes when I sit down and think about it, it's so unreal, but it's still happening. It was a nice experience. You just have to enjoy that moment because you work for it and then it's really fun when people appreciate what you created. Otis hasn't given in to this sort of fame. He is through and through um, a painter, you know, who just wants to be in the studio and get his thoughts out and get the work done. I have big shows coming up and then I have also a group show coming up in Shanghai and um, a group show also in LA and a couple of ones that I can't really talk about yet and it's gonna be big. <laughs> it's like, am I prepared for this? What do I see for my future? You cannot predict the future, but you can always, you know, be prepared for it. I live in the moment. I work and try to be better than yesterday or today.